All right, so this is the third in the, um, the videos about laying out the UVs. So I'm working on this um, Fiat here, this car, and I wanted to just, we'll just take a section of the hood, and I want to make sure my UV texture editor is open here. And we can see it has UVs in there, but um, they're all jacked up. So we're going to go, we're in our polygons menu. We're going to go under create UVs and um, the planar mapping options box here and um, we're just going to map it in the y-axis project from and um, we'll just keep that plane as fine I'll hit project and uh, it's created our UVs here so what I did was I just selected one UV held down control and right mouse button at the same time and went to shell in the menu and I'm just going to scale it because it doesn't actually reflect the real shape of the hood and now it kind of does and I'm going to hit W and switch to my move key, translate key um, also I don't really know what I'm dealing with and I don't like the angle so I'm going to rotate it so now I can tell by looking at my 3D view here and looking in the UV texture editor that I'm looking at the right side of the hood there so we've covered this before in the UV tutorials now we're going to go and select the object we're going to go in the UV Texture Editor under Polygons, UV Snapshot. And um, it's going to say File Name, and it's going to have a Browse button. You want to hit that. And I'll switch to just my desktop. And I'll put it on, I'll write Hood UV Grid or whatever. Doesn't matter what you call it. Let's see. I'm going to make the map size a 1024 by 1024. And, uh, I mean, TIFF's fine, Targa, whatever, TIFF's fine, I use, and I don't mess with any other settings, and I'll hit OK. It's going to think for a minute, and now it's done. So we're going to go over to Photoshop. This is how you actually use your UV map out of Maya to, you know, texture an object. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I'm going to find that hood UV grid, UVs I just made. And there they are, in a square 10 by 10, or... 1024 by 1024 map. So, what I'll do here is uh, I'm just going to assume you have some basic Photoshop knowledge. It's bugging because of the screen capture. I selected all my text and um, I made it bigger. Um, I'll just write my name and I'll make it a a really bright color and I'll rotate it on the hood so it's covering most of the hood okay and now here in my layer palette just like you would do you want to make sure that like uh, whatever color you want behind it on the car is gonna be that you know we'll just use gray for now I'm gonna flatten it you always want to save out a layered version though to make sure you have it to go back and manipulate your map and then I'm actually just going to call this one. It's good to name it like bump map, color map, light map, whatever. So I'm just going to call it hood color map. And we'll save it in your format file types here as a Targa. Maya likes that. And I'm going to uncheck alpha channels because I don't want to save any transparency with it. Hit save. 24 bits per pixel is fine. I'm going to close out of Photoshop. We'll go back into Maya. And uh, with the hood selected. I'll put whatever material I want to put on it. Let's just say I want to put a shiny um, blend. I went, I went, I had the hood selected. I held down right mouse button. I went down to assign new material. I scroll over and I'm just going to pick like a blend. And in the blend here, attributes, there's color channel. I'm going to click the little checkered box here to the right of it. That's going to let me map an image into it. I'm going to see in here it says um, 2D textures, normal projection or stencil. We want to put it in as a as normal. And we want to do this one right here, file. It's underneath of checker and to the right of cloth. It's going to let me do a bitmap. Um, all these things are fine except in image name where the image isn't loaded. There's a folder to the right. Click this folder. Navigate to where we just saved the one we painted, hood color map. And hit open. You'll see it in the little in the little window there. 
we might not see it on the hood yet just because we're not looking in that in the texture mode yet we probably have the five key hit on the keyboard let's hit the six key and that lets us view textures and um, there it is beautiful painted my name on the hood now if I select the hood I'm going to delete the history I want to edit delete by type history or whatever and in the attributes over here if they're not open like they're closed like this just hit control a with the hood selected I'm going to go over to this material the blend on it here I'm going to go into where the little arrow shows that I have a little thing mapped into the color channel now and I see my image mapped in I'm going to click this other little node here tab place 2d texture and that's how my texture is placed on there and um, I can actually under like rotate UV I can actually um, turn it to pretty cool huh and uh, it's pretty awesome right like if I did 180 it would be a com exact you know rotation um, also going back into uh, window UV texture editor you'll see the relationship now to the hood so if I want to like adjust its placement on the actual hood you can see where I move the UVs moves it in the 3d window so just be careful when you get outside of the 0 to 1 space here it starts to tie a little repeat so if I pull far enough out want see what I mean by the repeating it's, it's picking up back here again so just make sure you know we can get away with it here because as long as we're not place it uh, and again that the select the entire shell just select one UV hold down control right mouse button to shell uh, hit the E key for rotate hotkey and I can um, you know rotate it here too it's basically how you map an image in and use a UV map that you've exported out. Um, you can watch the other two video tutorials I did that describe how to plane our map on the uh, male body and how to make a good map. And then this one just showed you how to export that map out and uh, how to uh, use it to paint, a, paint um, a texture in Photoshop. So I hope that helped.